Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Ticking Together. As always, the goal of this channel is to provide education about and to raise awareness as to what it's like living with Tourette's Syndrome. How are you guys doing? I've missed you. In today's video, I'm just gonna do a little bit of an update because I've been MIA for a little while. If you've seen my last video, you would know that I had COVID and I was feeling absolutely horrible. It's been a struggle. I was sick for like two weeks with just intense COVID. I had to go to the eMERGE ER. It was just a disaster. But with being sick, a lot of the time when I'm sick, my tics are lessened. So I had basically a two week break from having really severe tics and it was wonderful. And you're probably noticing in this video I'm not ticking that much and that's because I'm still kind of on that waning sick feel where I'm not completely back to normal health-wise. So I'm ticking less but I'm not ticking to my full extent which is really nice. I really love having breaks from ticking. My punching tick is kind of cycled. It, it's still here but it's lessened and I'm not always punching my head. I haven't had to wear that helmet that I bought for a while. I've just been really happy. I mean, besides being sick, it's, ugh, I got rice, ugh. It's just so nice to have breaks from ticks, especially when it's something that I deal with every single day of my life since I was about 10. I have had ticks for as long as I can remember, as you guys know. And I still have ticks when I'm sick, but they're lessened. So it's just, it's a nice kind of mini break, but I'm still ticking. It's just not to the point where it's every, every five seconds. <laughs> You'll notice I get red here from punching, but that's the norm for me. Oof. I just wanted to update you guys and say, hi, I'm alive. Um, my ticks are in a waning phase, which is wonderful. I wanted to do a little update on my medication as well. So as you guys know, Ugh. For my Tourette's, I'm on three medications, two of which are antipsychotics. I don't know if I've ever told you the ones I'm on. I'm on Flupenazine, Guanfacine or Intuniv, and Pimazide or Pimazide. So I'm on three medications daily for my Tourette's. And those three have really kind of worked together in a concoction to really help me manage my tics. But I was put on Concerta for my ADHD because my brain has just been a doozy. Ugh but I found that being on a stimulant really counteracted that of being on my Tourette's meds. So I haven't talked to my doctor about this yet, but I literally went off Concerta cold turkey. I was on a really small dose, so I don't think it really matters. I've been off it for like a month now and my tics are back to waning because I went to the doctor and I was like, my ADHD is great. I can think, I can function, but my tics are really hindering my ability to function. And so my doctor sat me down and he's like, Carly, I mean, you really have to weigh the options. There's two things. You can either have really severe tics and a good brain or a bad brain and really good tics or like controllable tics. And that just sucks. That's the reality of living with neurological disorders, ADHD, Tourette syndrome, OCD, the list goes on. So I've chosen to come off Concerta. I probably should have talked to my doctor. If you're out there, talk to your doctor before coming off meds. But I figured that since I wasn't on it for very long and it was such a small dose that it really wouldn't matter and it really hasn't mattered other than the fact that my brain feels foggy <laughs> and I have memory loss. It's the same as I was before I was on my ADHD meds. So realistically, I do have to weigh the options of ticks or clear brain and just try to figure that out. And it just really sucks that I can't have both, but I know that that's not possible as of yet. I don't know if there's any medications that would ever really help. Um, and I, I just get to the point where my tics were so bad, that punching tic, I was having migraines every night. I would be beating myself up. I had bruising all over my chest for a few weeks. Like that's something that I would rather not live with because it's just so debilitating. And so I thought, why not come off the Concerta? Because maybe I'll get a little bit lessened again. And it was right, like besides being sick too, that might've played into it. But my tics, I got rice, oof. But my tics, oof, oof. But my tics aren't as severe as they were when I was on the ADHD medication. So I'm very glad about that. And that's the update I wanted to give you guys is just my medication has kind of changed. I'm still on the three pills a day for my Tourette's. That hasn't changed in about a year. 
I've been on the flufenazine since I was like 12 and that's probably not good. I've heard that it can cause tardive dyskinesia and all sorts of stuff like that and I have developed a tremor from it in my hands so might have to talk to my doctor about that but I just wanted to update you guys. And if you stuck around to this video for this long and you see these little guys behind me, these Yetis, they're from a small business called Yetis and Friends and I've ordered more and one of them came today. <laughs> and I'm gonna open it on camera with you guys. I haven't opened it yet, but look at how cute. Ugh, I love it. Oh, and my ring. I got engaged. I'm, you guys have probably seen it, but I am so happy. Things are just really good. Even though ticks are bad-ish, this is good. This is good. I'm excited. Let's open it. So the thing is, ugh, the guy that makes these, they're all handmade. It's a small, um, low, like a small handmade business. He releases only a few at a time, at certain times. And I stay tuned to his Instagram so I know when they come out and I set my alarm and I go on his website and I get them. And I'm so lucky because a lot of people have tried to get them but haven't been able to. And this will be my fourth. And they're just so well made and I think they're the coolest decorations ever. So like when I move out, I'm bringing them with me. <laughs> I don't wanna wreck it. Okay, let's do it. Okay, okay, I'm so excited. Okay. This time he included things. So there's a cute little thank you. Oh, love it. There's the little business card. Look how cool this is. I've never gotten these before in my package, so that's exciting. Okay, let's open them. I'm excited. Ooh. It's packaged really well. <laughs> okay, so we got this. Oh, the glitter. There's glitter on it. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's so cute. What a good guy for my collection. <laughs> Look at him. He's very different than the other Yetis I have. He's very different, but he's so Look at him, I'm gonna hang him on my wall. He's such a goof. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Oof. I got rice. Honestly, these are so well made, like it's ridiculous. Like, I know people think I'm weird. This is literally one of my hyper fixations. I've talked about it in a previous video. I will go to this guy's website and wait for him to release more. I don't know where I'm gonna put this one though. Look at his nose, oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I'm getting two more, oh my gosh. <laughs> so you got to see me open my new Yeti. He's not really a Yeti, he's just a creature, but he's so freaking cute. And I'm really excited, I'm gonna hang him up and then we'll see where I put him. I don't know where I'm gonna put him yet, but I'm getting two more and oh my gosh, I have to stop. <laughs> Thank you guys for staying tuned to my update. I will be posting more normal content soon. I'm probably going to do a part three to reacting to fake TikTokers um, with Tourette's or fake Tourette's because you guys have been asking for that and I try to educate and give the benefit of the doubt and I think my videos are educational so stay tuned if you want to see that. If there's any other videos or content you'd like to see please let me know in the comments. I would appreciate that. Will my fiance <laughs> has gone back to California, so I'm sad about that. So I can't make any videos with him in person, but maybe on Zoom. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave a comment down below saying hi. Tell me what you want to see in future videos or letting me know if you like him and what I should name him. Thanks for watching. As always, we're learning together, we're laughing together, and we're ticking together. Bye.